Hey everyone, this is Daniel, and in this video, I'm going to give you a quick demo of this uh, Power App form that I built um, just tied to a SharePoint list. Um, and with a little bit of ingenuity, I was able to make the form um, a lot more presentable. Um, so before I even go there, let's actually try to look at the out of the box capability of Power Apps uh, when I tie it to the same or connect it to the same SharePoint list data connection, um, what's the out of the box functionality to create this form. Um, and then after that, I'll show you the, uh, the customized one that I built. So here I am um, in my desktop Power Apps. Um, I will go ahead and create a new tablet layout. So let me open that. Um, then I'll go ahead and create a data source or connect to a data source. Move this guy a little bit here. Go to my SharePoint online. Let me copy the URL. And this is for my SharePoint online. Uh, you can do the same thing with your SharePoint on prem as well. And here's my list. So now that I've made my data. Uh, connection I can go um, back to insert edit let's uh, go and expand that a little bit in the data source I'll type in the name and so now I have the place where I can get all my fields so let's do that um, I'll go ahead and get some title subtitle description notes you know, so on and so on state um, and, and this is a huge improvement from what was there before because now we can go ahead and build um, you know, uh, as many columns as you want um, I can even take off the snap to columns functionality so that over here now when I go into advanced um, I can basically just unlock uh, each of these guys over here and move them around um, so let me just do that I can go ahead and move this guy you know, say in between over here. And that happens. Um, also, because I've unlocked it, now, um, once I moved it, this doesn't get automatically uh, populated with another one. So it, it does give you the functionality to move these uh, uh, columns around uh, or data sets around um, in the screen. But yet, the, the look and feel is a little clunky over here. Um, so with a little bit of ingenuity, I was able to come up with my own design um, to make the form actually a lot more presentable. So let, let me demo that to you. So now I'm going to go ahead and close this guy, or this app. And let me open up my demo app. So while that's opening up, um, this is my SharePoint online list that I use. Uh, I call it uh, uh, PA inspection, which PA stands for Power Apps Inspection, and that's where I'm saving all this information over here. Um, as you can see, this list has currently uh, four items. Okay, so here's my Power App. Um, as you can see right now in this um, screen, I can just click on that, and it shows me, I mean, by default, the first one is selected. I can click on the second one, um, and I can all look at the map and everything. Um, so now let me pretend that I am filling, uh, putting in a new entry. So I click on the plus one over here, and I'll say uh, Microsoft Campus um, in Charlotte, North Carolina. My description. Um, this is where. a great place to learn and connect. So um, let me also go ahead and put in the address. So the address is 8055 Microsoft Way. Um, it is in Charlotte State. Let me just put in NC for North Carolina and then the zip code which is 28273. Now what over here um, the form is a little bit more uh, presentable um, I don't have that same uh, clunky look and feel as I had before also I was able to embed um, the map so now if I go and select this radio button which is view the map it 
takes the data from here and applies it to the map. And that's what it is. This is actually the location of that Microsoft campus, uh, which is where the user group suite. I can always go back and view the address over here again. And so it, it actually is well uh, presented. Uh, but let me go ahead and click on Done and save it. And so now you can see this entry over here. And I select that. It populates all this information. The key thing is, let me go back to my SharePoint site, refresh it, and now right here, you should see that new item. And there you go. It is um, the same entry that I just did. That's why you can see the new item. Um, and I was able to go ahead and add it uh, from this customized Power App. Um, the other thing you can do is you can select that, you can go ahead and edit it as you want. Um, always you can come back and uh, enter the address, you can go and view it. But the other thing you can do is delete it. So let me go back and make sure that I've selected on that one. Um, I'll click on delete. It takes you to this different screen and says, would you like to delete this inspection? And I'll say, yep, I'll delete it. And it takes me back to the first um, screen. As you can see, that item is missing over here. But now when I go back to the list and click on Refresh, that item is missing over here as well. So here is just a quick um, demo of how I was able to build this uh, presentable app, which can also be used as a SharePoint form. Um, and stay tuned for my blog, which I'll be posting, which uh, walks you through this step-by-step uh, -step of how the data connections were built how I was able to add all of those uh, fields over there or the um, uh, data sets and uh, how I was able to make that connection using my own uh, design that I came up with. So hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.